okay so let's discuss about alpha testing the application is tested by the users okay and these users will be invited these users will be invited to the you know production team and from in the production team you know in front of the production team these end users will be testing the application and the team will be noting down their behavior and uh, their test cases okay if anything uh, goes wrong okay during the testing in the during this alpha testing if anything goes wrong the development or the team will be noting down all these issues and they'll once they went out they will be rectifying all these issues and they'll be sending the application to the end users or the customer okay so that's about alpha testing once all your application is completed once all the application is completed okay you understood that all the requirements are met and once you done the entire application you will be inviting the end users to the production team okay end users to the production team there the users will be testing your application and um, so once during their test you have to note down what is their testing what they are testing and what is their behavior you know what is the test cases they are testing and um, are they during the testing are there any issues coming up like such as you know un unwanted alerts or the browser is suddenly closed or the behavior is different than the expected behavior okay so if there are any such kind of issues you have to note it down and you have to fix it and you have to send it back to them okay so that's about alpha testing so during the alpha testing the team will be inviting the end users to the production team and the end users will be testing your application and giving some inputs if there are any issues okay so and you have to note down those issues it's nothing but alpha testing when it comes to beta testing okay so you will be launching the application when it comes to beta testing you will be launching the application to the end users directly by naming it as beta version okay <clears throat> and and users will be accessing that particular application and if there are any issues they will be reporting to the development team okay so if you see if you see any android mobile or uh, any phone okay when you are accessing the uh, when you are accessing any application if there is the if the application is hanged if the application is not responded for some time it will come up with a pop up saying there is a error we found do you want to report the error okay you might be saying anybody see that error such kind of error when you are accessing the application if it is hanged okay after some time it will come up with a pop up saying that there is a error found do you want to report this error you might be aware of it right okay yeah correct so in the same way in the web application also when there are some you know crashes or something hanging is happening so a pop up will come up okay so it says that do you want to you know raise this issue to the development team okay if you say yes it will collect the input all the input and it will send it to the development team okay that's about beta testing even the skype is also now it is into beta testing for example i'll show you So recently, Skype also launched uh, their web application in the beta version. Okay. Once you see this uh, application, maybe now it is in uh, proper mode. But when they launch this application, there is a, a small um, icon here saying it is in. Right now, it is in beta mode. Let's see. You might see it. So. This is one example, and if you see Google Plus, okay, when they launched, they launched in um, you know a beta version, 
and beta version is nothing but you should not blame the application in the beta version okay so it is launched the beta let's see is there any yeah can somebody see here beta version can somebody see here beta right okay you can see here beta so that's about um, beta version okay so during the beta version the application will be launched to the end users directly okay and let's get the input from these end users if there are any issues okay once once the development team or the team feels that okay now we are not getting many issues so it seems the application is stabilized then launch it for the normal release okay instead of uh, keeping it in beta release let's launch in the normal release okay so that's about beta testing so this testing is done before the final release of the software to end user software to end user okay before the final release of the software it is released to the users okay before the final release of the software okay so it's not a final release before the final release of the software it is released to the users for testing whether there will be no controlled conditions and the user here is free enough to do whatever he wants to do on the system to find errors okay so in the beta testing before uh, it is going to be released as a final version it will be released to them users first and let's get input from those users and you know fix all the issues and release the final issue later once it is stabilized so that's about alpha and beta testing